What's up guys? Steve here from Speed Kings. Today, we're gonna take all these products right here, Pro One Performance and Legend Suspension, and we're gonna to toss them on this Dyna back here. Joey Dorado's Dyna, we're getting him set up. We need time to redo his suspension on this bike. He's beat the shit out of this bike a whole bunch. So it's time to set him up with something a little bit more proper. Follow along as we do so. We're gonna kind of do a walkthrough on how to do the Legend cartridges. Uh, new to me, this is actually my first time, but I'm gonna explain it all to you because I just read the instructions. That's how good I am, all right? So here we go, let's do it. About three weeks later, we're back and we're gonna finish up this Legend install. So we wanna go through how to set up your Legend suspension front cartridges. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the rear suspension and all the fun stuff. We're pairing it up, as you know, with the uh, Pro One Performance trees. So it's gonna be a fucking killer setup. Let's do this. Here is your Legend cartridge. It's a beautiful thing right here. <whistles> One of the great things about the Legend products is they have an amazing instruction manual. According to their instructions, to adjust the preload, you're gonna go ahead and do a revolution on this, and then we're gonna go ahead and set the set screw. So we're setting this a little heavier than our rider because he's a stunt rider, Mr. Joey Dorado. So one revolution is gonna be good for 250 to 350 pounds. So we're gonna do that right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and start assembling everything together. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove this set screw. And then we go ahead and just make our revolution, tightening the spring. Boop, one revolution. We're gonna add a little blue Loctite to our set screw so that way it doesn't loosen up. Let's go ahead and thread it back in. All right. Well, that's all you have to do to set these cartridges up. So it makes it very simple to set them up for your weight and then to throw them in your tubes. From this point, we're gonna go ahead and tear this front end off the bike, put on the new trees, throw the tubes in, and we're gonna go ahead and finish up the install, adding the supplied fork fluid. So check it out, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and put the fork tubes together with the legs now so we can go ahead and put in the, uh, the fluids. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of start the threading here a little bit just so it's solid, you know, nothing crazy. Cause what I'm gonna do is get everything set up to go ahead and install. Go ahead and put our, our ring on and then let's go ahead and grab our fork leg and we'll just slide it into place. Boop. We got a little pressure on the end of the cartridge with because we threaded that. So it makes it just a little easier to lock in our, our bolt here. I'm gonna put a new crush washer that comes with our uh, James Gasket kit. Little dab, just a smidge, just because, you know, feeling lucky. And we'll go ahead and start threading that. All right. Nice and tight. Don't forget your new drain screw. And we will put in the new drain screw. Careful with these, these stupid screws are super easy to strip out. So make sure you're giving adequate pressure. All right, so let's go ahead and put our fork seal in place. Cool. Fork seal is in. Put your C-clip into place. Make sure it locks in the, the recess. We can go ahead and loosen this back up now. 
slide this down so that way we can put the fluid in. So we're gonna go ahead and put the oil in now. It's uh, six ounces per side. So we got our handy dandy measuring cup here. And we're gonna go ahead and pour six motherfucking ounces. All right, here we go. So to make sure all the fluid goes down into the system, we got to pump the cartridge. And once that's doing, it's basically sucking the fluid out of the fork tube itself, putting the fluid down in the lower leg. And should be ready to throw on the bike. <laughs> 